Are you trying to land a new job as a freight broker? Maybe you're looking to get started as a freight agent with the company. Well, in this video, I'm going to break down all of the different ways that you can go about applying for freight broker jobs, as well as checking out the companies that offer them. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nate with Freight360. We've done tons of videos and content on how to start your own freight brokerage. But what about those of you that don't want to go all in and start your own company? Maybe you want to start off by working for a freight broker and learning the ropes. In fact, most successful freight brokers start off by working for someone else rather than jumping into it on their own. How do you find these jobs? Well, let's start with some pretty obvious ways. Job boards. Now, when I say job boards, I'm talking about the big companies like Indeed and ZipRecruiter. You can post your resume online and search for jobs by title, location, salary, and a ton of other filters. This is a really great way to see what's available in your area and even nationwide if that works remote. You'll wanna look for the job titles that are commonly used in this industry. So look for job titles like freight broker, logistics account executive, logistics coordinator, freight dispatcher, or even just dispatcher to name a few. Now, if you're posting your resume, you can even list your desire to work in freight brokerage in the objective statement at the top of your resume. That's one of the first things that recruiters will look at. This will help you rank higher in that recruiter's search if they're targeting people that have experience in freight brokerage, for example. Now, this method, it'll work for both the W-2 freight brokers and freight agents, but keep in mind, W-2 freight brokers, you're typically working in a company's office, you're gonna receive training and earn a salary. While on the other hand, agents, you're gonna to tend to work remotely fully from home and only receive commission. A lot of the W-2 positions are entry level, while the freight agent opportunities that are gonna be posted out there, they're gonna usually require some experience, so make sure you're reading those full job titles and descriptions in detail and apply for the roles that best fit your situation. Next up, let's take a look at company websites. The bigger the company, the more likely they are to have an entire section of their website dedicated to recruiting new employees or independent agents depending on that business model. A company's website will usually give you a really good idea of their culture and give you a bit of insight into what working with them is really like. In addition to just dot the job descriptions, you can typically find a company's history, pictures of the work environment or office, as well as some testimonials from other people that are part of their organization, such as their team members. Now, take a look at how long they've been in business. You're a lot more likely to succeed with an organization if they've been around for a decade or longer compared to those startup freight brokerage companies. You should be in control of your own destiny instead of wondering if their doors will be open or not in just about a year's time. If you're interested in working as a W-2 employee for a brokerage, you can even get an idea of their upward mobility that they offer to employees. Take a look at what all the jobs are that they have posted on their website. Is it just one job title for freight brokers or do they have openings for sales, operations, team leaders, and management? This will tell you if you even have the ability to move up their ladder within the organization. Now for freight agents, it's usually just gonna be one type of role since as an agent, you build your agency however you see fit. If you're looking for freight agent opportunities with a company, make sure you do some in-depth research on what they're offering their agents. You should be able to find out what kind of commission their agents earn, what software and technology they provide their agents, and what minimum requirements they're looking for in new agents, such as how much experience do they have, and do you have to have a book of business to bring with you, that kind of stuff. A reputable company should be very, very transparent in what they're offering their agents. And if they're not, that should absolutely be a red flag as to why they are not upfront about their offering. Finally, there's always the traditional method of networking with others in your social community. Now, this could be social media or just simply people that you know in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you know someone that owns a freight brokerage or you might be connected in a group online that's dedicated to the freight brokerage community or just freight in general. You'll often find business owners and recruiters sharing information online about their job openings and recruiting efforts for both the W-2 employees as well as 1099 independent agents. For someone that's new or wants to get started as an agent, this might be your best bet. Like I said before, a lot of the larger agent-based companies, they're gonna want you to be experienced and have a customer base before they even consider you. 
So this old school networking will be a game changer if you don't meet those standard requirements. Get connected and engage with the other brokers in your community. They might not have an established freight agent program yet, but hey, everyone's gotta start somewhere. You could be that first agent for them. Right, so this this first agent that a company brings on, it's typically gonna, gonna start through that traditional networking and taking a chance on a highly skilled salesperson like yourself that can learn quickly and has that entrepreneurial spirit. Now, lastly, don't forget to take the time and do your due diligence when looking at freight broker jobs. Ask lots of questions and even consider asking to talk candidly with someone else that already works for their company, whether it's a W-2 or an agent. Not all companies are created, managed, or led equally, so it's up to you to make sure that you're vetting your next employer as much as they're vetting you as their next employee or agent. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.